Hello everyone, myself Manoj from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we are going to present about workflow task in P360 followed by a small demo. The agenda of this video is like, what is we're discussing about the overview of a workflow task, APIs to create a task and assigning an items, different actions on a UI, users can perform on the workflow tasks and assigning items to different users or user groups and validating the entries in the database. What is a task in a P360? Task is generally categorizing items or products for a data actions. In P360, we have two types of a task, single and a workflow. Single task doesn't have any series of action and once owner of the task marks as complete, the items cycle in the task will be finished and removed from the UI. In Whereas the workflow task, the entities inside the task will have a series of actions like accept, finish and approve. For example, user can accept an item in the task and work on the item and send for the approval to the approval user groups and the approver users based on the data can either approve it or reject it uh, and based on the approve or reject the item will flow to the subsequent actions so let's see how can we create a ta workflow task inside a p360 creation of a workflow task will be carried out in two different apis the first api we need to fire to create a task container which holds the entity the container id whether it is a master catalog or a supplier catalog and the user or a user group or a supplier to which the task container should be assigned once this api is created then we need to fire another api to push items into this particular task container so in this uh, in the second api we will be say we, with the pro help of process id and the int item internal id we will be pushing the items into the container which we have initially created once the once the item is pushed the task will be available in the ui and user can perform a uh, different set of actions like assign accept finish approve or reject accept action will uh, Accept action is like uh, capturing the item from the particular group task to his personal bucket. Assigning task uh, like user can assign the task to or item to different user groups or users. Finishing and approving like uh, once the item is having the sub verified data, <clears throat> the user of the ta task can accept or reject based on the data set. These are the different actions in the UI and how the entries will be created at the database layer workflow task data will be primarily stored in four, four different tables like workflow 2g workflow 2g status task and a process status entry inside the main schema once we created the container api right the entries will be created in workflow 2g and workflow 2g status tables along with the task tables and once we fire the api to push the items the entries will be created in the process status entry table which holds the user user group and the item item ids uh, which will have the which are having which are available inside this particular task now let's go into the quick demo how this task can be created in our uh, local system by following the apis So this is my initial task container API. So I am firing a task with the identifier like sample task, label as sample task, status as a sample task. And here the container I am specifying as one implies it is a master catalog, master catalog item, including the catalog ID. And the entity is for the article and the task container will be assigned to this particular user group user group this is the user group uh, which i have in a p360 we can get it from the rich client and with a rejected decision rejected decision i have just one rejected decision so if i want to reject an item i can specify any ad hoc comment or i can select the decision why i am rejecting this uh, particular particular item inside the task let us fire this api So once the API is fired, we will get a result like created counter 
updated counter or a failed counter so as we can see we got a created counter to updated counter so our uh, task data will be created in the workflow to j and workflow to j status and the task tables let us see the database layer now since we have created the task container i think yeah <coughs> yeah once we have created the task container uh, a entry will be created in workflow 2g if we see it will be created with the identifier label and the creation user and everything and an entry will be created in workflow 2g status table the status table will hold the status which which we fired the task and an entry will be created in a task table written inside the task table holding and uh, you can see we have a, in the column of workflow status we have a value of a sample task though we have an entry in the status table task table sorry the task won't be available in the ui until we push an item into the inside the particular task uh, let's verify by logging into the web ui i am logging into web ui with rest user as it is uh, assigned to the user group which i fired the task container and i am assigned to a new user group if you can see the Uh, we, the task entry is not yet created in the ui the sample task so let's fire the api to push an item into the task container workflow status enter with some new process id so id will be we are firing for the workflow id the same status and item id internal item id is eight at the rate right one so let's push the item we got successful true okay so this task should be available in our ui let's refresh now you could see the sample task is available in the ui as i logged in with a rest user once i open the it i will be having a certain actions like assign terminate comment and assign and everything let me assign it to a user group or to a different user for example like data and if you click on okay the data user will be having this sample task content and once the data user logs in he can perform a different action like accept and finish comment and accept and finish and approve so once the task item is available in the task container we have to go to the in the database layer we have to go to the process status entry inside the process status entry table a new entry will be created for a sample task and here we will be having a user id to which it is assigned to since it is assigned to data user it will be the user id of the data user if it is assigned to any user group the user group id will be populated and the visit counters accepted it and will have the comments which we have uh, comment we will be having in the value which we with the value which we pushed the items inside the container and the uh, item ids will be stored in one particular xml task execution content this task execution content will hold the report ids report ids 
and the report store temporary database tables in which the item is available. Uh, please provide your valuable feedback uh, using these bureau links. That's all for today. Thank you for your time. Thank you.